Hello everybody, my name is Jonas Wendorf and in this tutorial I'm going to introduce to you my blend modi test strip. What this test strip allows you to do is pretty much visualize how the different blending modes interact with each other and also create a curves adjustment layer that will simulate the effect of a self blend, which means the overlay of two tonal ranges with themselves. The structure of this is very simple. It first of all contains vertical stripes from 0 to 32 to 46 and so on to 255. And above that I have another group which has the horizontal stripes. And this one is the same as this one but shifted at 90 degrees. So what this allows us to do is just check how the different blending modes interact with each other, as I've said earlier. For example, I could just decrease the opacity of this layer to let's say 50% and see how the different values interact with each other and whatever will come out if you overlay, for example, 224 with 224 at 50% opacity in normal blend. Of course, normal is a pretty basic and pretty boring blending mode, so I'm going to introduce to you some different blending modes. For example, the darken blending mode. And you can see immediately how it works, because whenever the horizontal stripes are darker than the vertical ones, you can see that they overlap and just blend with normal at 100% opacity. However, there's even more interesting things with this. For example, we could try to maybe give it some color burn and see how color burn interacts with each of these blends and how it interacts when we, for example, color burn a 255 into a 255 or a 224 into a 224. To give me a bit a better visualization of all of this, I've created some color lines. The green one is going to give me the self-blending, which means we have the greens wherever 255 overlays 255, 224, 224, etc. The red one is going to give me the upper values and the blue one is going to give me the lower values. What we can do with this is create a curves adjustment layer which simulates exactly the effect that color burn has if we use this as a self blend. And to do this I'm just going to create a new adjustment layer, curves adjustment layer and set its opacity to 0% at first. What we want to do now is check where each of these values lies. So I'm going to check the first value, which is 255, 255, and this stays at the value of 255. The next point is at 224. So we'll just click on this and we see that 224 color burned with 224 gives us an output value of 220. Because we started with 224, we are going to raise the input slider to 224. Next we'll click on the 192 and we'll see that it became a 171. I'm going to check this as my output and give it 192 for the input. The next value is 104. I'm going to give this as the input, uh, as the output, 
and as the input we overlaid 160 and 160 so the input is going to be 160. Next we have 128, 128. So we are going to give 128, the input of 128, an output value of 2. And at 96, 96, we have an output value of 0, so we are going to the 96 and give it an output of 0. As you can see, what we just did was actually set the input value to the new output value. And therefore, we've created a curves adjustment layer that looks pretty much like what an overlay with the blending mode itself would look like. To test the accuracy of this, I'm just going to disable my horizontal stripes, duplicate my structure layer, and give it a blending mode of color burn. Okay. Go to the top layer, hold down the Alt key, and go to Merge Visible to create a stamp of all the visible layers. Now disable my structure group and give the blend mode adjustment layer an opacity of 100%. Now for the top layer, change the blending mode. To difference. Go to the histogram and check it and as you can see we have a mean of 0.15 and a standard deviation of 0.72 which means we've done a pretty accurate job of recreating the color burn blending mode just with a curve. Of course we should save it as a preset just go to the flat menu and choose Safe Curves Preset and name it accordingly. I've done quite a few of these. As you can see, I have Exclusion here, Color Dodge, Color Burn, Hard Mix, Overlay, Linear Dodge, etc. So I've done pretty much all the blending modes that have special curves adjustment. And in that way we can analyze and recreate our blending modes with this little test strip. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope it was clear. I know this one is a little more technical than most of the videos I did. So if you have any f questions, feel free to email me Jonas underscore Vendorf at web.de or just Skype me Jonas W234. Goodbye.